best long distance shooter in the world. Wow. There they are. What a finals. What a finals. Hey, and look at confetti. That. Another walk off. Rick Thorne has oh. won it. Wow. The 2022 Golden Tee Mobile World wow. Champion. Rick Thorne Swiper Sniper. A year has passed and the time has come. 32 of the strongest competitors in Golden Team Mobile will descend upon the bright lights of Las Vegas, Nevada once again in a quest for the ultimate glory in virtual golf, the title of 2023 Golden Team Mobile World Champion. Will a returning champion, Tony Johnson or Rick Coppathorn, find their way to the podium, becoming the first ever two-time champ? Or will a new challenger battle their way through the brackets and stake their claim to this year's trophy? Join us for the next half hour as we reflect with these elite competitors on their journey to a world stage. I'm Chad Shrump, and this is the Golden Tee Mobile Road to Worlds. Yeah, uh, so Tony Johnson, I've been playing uh, Golden Tee Mobile for a long time uh, since it came out and Golden Tee Arcade for much longer than that. Winning in 2012 or 2021 was incredible. Um, I've been playing for so long uh, on the arcade side and being converted over to the mobile side was, uh, it was a different experience but I was so excited to do it and it was incredible to win and it was really difficult to not be able to defend my title the next year. I had a trip planned with my family, and so uh, I had to make the choice. And it was a difficult choice, but I would do the same choice again. But I'm excited, hopefully, to be able to qualify this coming uh, world's qualifier and uh, defend my title, or redefend my title. And a fist pump from Tony Johnson. He is your first ever Golden Team Mobile world champion. We'll wait for Benji to finish this up. Good shot. And we'll, uh, we'll celebrate him as well, but there he is. And there they are. What a finals. What a finals. Hey, and look at confetti. that. And I think the big difference for me, like mobile is very calculation and math based, where I feel like on the arcade side, it's so much more feel based. And so th that's the big difference for me. R37. Whammy with the javelin. This will run to the left when it lands. Needs to bounce hard. Here it comes. Whammy has done it. All in one for Tony Johnson. I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say Matthew Hansen. I think he's my favorite, other than me. Look at this. These are two very important shots, and it's happening. And they both know it. Oh, this looks Benji short. Oh. Oh, oh my goodness. It. Oh, oh the my one -iron. goodness. I think, uh, no, I, I, hey, I love playing this game. Uh, I love having fun doing it. Uh, I try not to take it too seriously. And uh, that's, that's what it's all about. Like, you play, you're playing a mobile game. You're able to play on your couch. You're having a great time. That's what it's all about for me. It feels definitely good to get the monkey off the back, week one. Uh, and against Tony Johnson, whammy nonetheless. Tony Johnson with the putt. It is in Riley Hitchcock to go to Vegas. He is in Riley Hitchcock. Tilt nasty, 13 under a piece. Great shot point win. And he defeats whammy. Gives Tony Johnson his first ever defeat in world championship qualifying. What a match. I think I picked up mobile, it was 2020. I was trying to qualify for cabinet. The week of March, like fifth, sixth, something like that. I was thinking I was fifth. And uh, you know, the world shut down. I think it was last week. Cabinet had, uh, had qualifying that week. I, I didn't come out for the weekend, so didn't make it. But then 
learned the mobile game and just a passion for Golden Tee. I, I started dabbling in it. I think the world qualifying was going on and I, I jumped in maybe like week seven or eight that, uh, that first year. And I was like, I got no business. I was like, I don't know the game. I've got to get better. Yeah, I, I was big into cabinet, 02 to probably about 08, and then got away from it, kind of jumped back in, I don't know, 13, 14, played a little bit. It's, uh, well, I, I joke, my, my wife, when COVID hit, uh, she's like, do you want to get one of those for the house? And I said, do you want to get divorced? Let's see what happens. 12 under each into a 15 mile an hour win. This line looks absolutely great. Oh, that's how you close the match. Riley Hitchcock, you are ridiculous. One of the best players in the world closes out Brian Muxlow. A dramatic fashion. What a turn of events. Yeah, uh, you know, I kind of was just in league and then kind of started to formulate relationships with these guys. Got invited to a couple of the... Uh, or the groups, I guess, if you will, on Discord and and Facebook. And then this year, after Chicago, after Chicago last year, I got invited to kind of the committee, if you will, for the Windy City Showdown. And um, honestly, I just like to promote the game. Like, you know, I, Andy and I chatted a little bit about the YouTube piece, and he's like, listen, if you just want to do it to have fun, like, do it. Like, uh, and I don't do it to make money. I just want, want to see you guys get better. But honestly, I felt pretty comfortable about winning. I'm just like, I'm, I'm going to beat him. I'll play as well as I can, and no mistakes. And... You know, we had happen to have Cape Haven back, which really doesn't require you to make a shot. Just don't make any mistakes. And to uh, when he messaged me, he's like, oh, you got me on GSPs. It's like you blemished my record. I was like, yes. Year one was, was, uh, was odd. Uh, I, that was before all the upgraded balls and clubs. So it was a grind back then, and there were only maybe 20 to 25 people that were really going for the, the top six. Actually, back then it was eight places. And uh, I was playing on a 9.7 iPad screen and struggling. I was ninth and 10th for qualifiers and decided to get a bigger iPad. And I got the 12.9 inch. And I started playing and I, I was so much better on it. I went on the Facebook page and I guaranteed I'm gonna qualify next week. And I did and went 3-0 and in the, the head-to-heads to make it to Worlds. Mr. Golden T here, going with the sniper. All he has to do is get this close. Oh, oh my goodness. What a way to close out a championship match. That's as clean of a match as I think we've seen, honestly, since we've been doing these. As you watch the sniper here, right on top of this thing, look at that. Leaks out a little bit. And with that, Nick in a Box taps in. Pretty solid round. 13 under, Mr. Golden T, one better, 15 under. Last chance, again, 16 weeks of grinding, and there's there's 75 to 100 people out there that are sitting there fighting for those, you know, top 16 places. And uh, I was ninth, 10th, I was bubba, I never, not once got into the top eight. And I knew I could, I knew I was good enough then. And they had the last chance qualifier for three spots, so, all my buddies are going there. I'm going to Vegas anyway, so I'm going to give it a shot. And I wound up shooting well in it and to qualify. It was amazing. It's nice to get it out of the way. Um, and it was I was I shocked myself by doing it, you know, and because uh, I wasn't playing very well, and it only took one round of everything going in. It was just one of those uh, one of those times, you know. I'm I'm a very hot and cold player. I was very hot for that one game, and that's what pushed me onto it. Just keep playing and keep playing. You know, be, be productive on the Facebook page. There's a lot of guys out there to help. You know, if there's anybody there that has questions, you know, just go to the Facebook page, post questions on there. All these guys are active on that page and they're, they're always, they're throwing videos out there, helping people out, you know, keep with it. Well, 21 was new. And so there was a lot of anticipation on what that event was gonna be like. and. Uh, it was an electric atmosphere because one, the venue was a little bit more, I don't know, it was a little tighter. There wasn't a whole lot of room, but what that actually allowed to happen is the crowd became louder. It was much more tight. It was, you know, the players were right up on top of the crowd. 
And when a player would have a good shot, I mean, you would you would really hear it. And I know the players themselves said they um, got jacked up pretty well because they could hear the crowd really get into those shots. So it was it was an electric atmosphere. Now, 22, we got to combine the event with the arcade side of Golden Tee. So the venue was monstrous. It was in a giant ballroom, had the stage, and I think a lot of the uh, mobile players enjoyed it because a lot of the, the arcade cabinet players were watching them. So they were trying to show off the game on, on the mobile side, and, and I think everyone put on a really good show. So both events, they were different, um, and both had uh, some really good highlights on, on how the event went. I mean, we have seen incredible Golden Tee tonight. I mean, incredible. I don't know how we can ever do better than what we did tonight. I mean, the, the play has been phenomenal. Well, I, I think we have some players that I anticipate are gonna make that next step. You've, you've got your traditional folks, you've got your Riley Hitchcocks, you've got your Tony Johnsons um, and, and Matthew Hansons that everyone expects to be in the mix, but you have some new blood as well. Um, Russ Lyons from Milwaukee, Wisconsin has really made that step and I know he expects to make that leap and, and try to contend for world championships. So I'm really excited to see what some of the newer players that haven't had that experience, you know, behind them to see how they're gonna perform. Both guys with a chip, high pressure, Trump drains it, no sweat. So there's different styles for a lot of these players. You've got players that absolutely attack every single pin regardless. You've got players that just want to make you make the mistake and just keep on playing good golf and let you make all the errors and at the end of the match, hey, guess what? I never made a single mistake and I'm moving on and you're going to a loser's bracket. So the players that have the experience by them that don't get nervous, don't have shaky hands, um, those are the guys to watch out for that just continue to think their shots through. They don't rush, you know, they don't get intimidated. They just make shot after shot after shot and put pressure on you. The people that put the pressure on are the ones that typically do really well in these tournaments. Shout out the sniper stinger. And he drains it for a home one. What a shot by Chad. Um, people have been really good to me about, you know, doing these broadcast streams, uh, commentating. So I do appreciate um, all the feedback I get, hopefully, I can somehow qualify for Vegas myself and pull double duty and play a little bit in it and do some commentating as well. Uh, my name is Matthew Hansen. I reside in Salt Lake City, Utah. I've been playing Golden Tee Mobile since April of 2020, uh, like a lot of people. I, COVID helped bring me into the Golden Tee Mobile uh, world. and. Uh, it's been kind of nice just uh, work, <laughs> being able to observe other people and work my way up to a point where I feel like I'm a competitive player in this league. From Joe Goldschmidt, Matthew Hansen trying to answer. Sniper, bam, makes it. 8,000 great shot points, touche. Joe Goldschmidt. I was, I, was, I was a Cinderella story, qualified in week 16 of that year and uh, yeah, finished fourth. I lost to Riley and Rick. Here is Chubby, just land this green. This is in! Chubby Cox, he is on the dance floor. He will make that putt. Chubby Cox, you have done it. The week 16 surprise entrance has done his job has defeated one of the biggest names in Golden Tee Mobile and will be in Las Vegas in 2022 to play in the 2021 Golden Tee Mobile World Championship. Congratulations, Chubby Cox. Yeah, so today is Championship Sunday. I, I What a huge relief it was to make it to the final 2-3, make my way into the championship match against Tilt here in the Windy City Showdown, uh, learning that I was going to win a World's Pass for actually qualifying was fantastic, like worth the worth coming here to begin with. 
but this tournament, what a premier tournament this is uh, to be able to play with others uh, of just amazing caliber. And uh, yeah, I can say that I enjoyed my experience here at Windy City Showdown and I can't wait to get to Vegas in September. These head-to-heads, uh, especially on the streaming side, are incredibly stressful. Um, you know, you hear, you hear everyone in the room saying different things and you're not even 100% certain exactly where you stand. Each and every one of these players is the ultimate, you know, challenger going forward and the 32 people that will be represented in Las Vegas in September are going to be 32 of the best players in Golden Tee Mobile. Here is Chubby Cox. Stinger, this looks left coming back and he makes it! Oh my goodness, welcome to the party! All I can say is uh, thank you so much for the support. I've I, I, I've been amazed at the fact that I play a video game on an iPad, and I get as many people who will actually comment or commend me on playing. And I really love being able to send out a YouTube link and say, "Hey, you got to check out this Golden Tee Mobile, uh, you know, tournament that's going on," and then read text messages afterwards. I, I can say for sure, both. The Golden Tee Mobile community, as well as then friends and family, helped me, you know, to feel good about, you know, uh, pushing forward and trying to do the best I can in this. Rick Coppathorn cemented his legacy in the Golden Tee Mobile competitive arena in last year's competition. The 2022 world champion ended his final three rounds in hole out fashion to take home the title. Again, Rick Coppathorn ended three matches in a row by holing out to earn the win. The man is truly something special, and his performances are nothing short of spectacular. He is a threat, and Rick Coppathorn will defend his title with every fiber of his being. So, this should be a sealer. Oh, wow! Goodness! Rick Coppathorn closes the show. Is that Rick misses this chip, or this putt rather, and he is not going to do it. Rick Coppathorn, swiper sniper, golfer 5840, has returned to the Golden Tee Mobile World Championship. The Rick Coppathorn, the second walk off. 18-hole Drano in a row, correct? Rick Coppathorn, you are ridiculous. Here on this elevated fairway, they are hitting down onto this green. Need to land this short and let it run out. He has done that and he makes it! What a great shot! That is a double eagle and on the board, Rick Coppathorn. He's got it a pretty aggressive uh Look at this one right now. Is Kyle. Kyle is your world champion. Wow. Jordan Scott, Generation Z from Hebron, Kentucky, has an extensive history with Golden Tee. As a longtime competitor in the arcade scene, with an eighth place finish in last year's Mobile World Championship, he's a fan favorite in any arena he approaches. Methodical and calculated, the stacked field will be on their toes if he finds his signature groove. I'm in it to win it. Oh, I'm in it for the long haul. Jordan has thrown, oh, just passed. Jordan almost got one back. He will have a chip from there, maybe. Here's Jordan Scott trying to take advantage of the air, and he is in! Jordan Scott, 17,000 great shot points. Pulls out. Jordan down two, looking at being down three. A lot of green to work with for Bannamans. And as we know, he is deadly. Nice. And there is Jordan! What an answer. Does not go down three. Makes the hole out. That is enormous. Here is a putt for a win up the hill. Jordan Scott, Kentucky's own, has made it to the 2023 Golden Tee Mobile World Championship in Vegas in September. A convincing two-stroke win, and he moves on to Vegas. Barrett Detterman of Mustang, Oklahoma, swipes and swings 
to the beat of his own drum. Known for his love of the stinger and sniper shot and his unmatched ability to execute and capitalize on them. With an extremely aggressive style of play, Barrett isn't afraid to lay on the pressure, forcing the hand of his opponent. Guarantee a Barrett is not short. One iron, javelin, and it is in! Barrett Detterman knew it would be short, just had to get his line correct. He makes it. Uh, you know, I, I got to meet him in uh, St. Louis at the first little mobile event we had. Yep. Um, you know, great guy, very passionate about this game and, the, and this brand, and, and, you know, happy to have people like that in a these Absolutely. Events. So I want to see this thing. Oh, oh wow. Holy sh. Barrett's got a one iron, I think. Yeah, that's what I would do there. I would too. Got to be careful not to go long. Yeah, Rick, goes over. Rick is left. Oh, Rick just missed that left. Barrett's middle. has got it. Barrett is on fire. Yeah, he is. He's hitting straight as could be. It's, it's really impressive. That was to hole out and hope for a big mistake from Barrett. Here's his chip. Seals the deal. That is a Vegas-bound shot. Joe Mama, Barrett Detterman, congratulations. A two-stroke win. On to the championship. We've only scratched the surface of the exceptionally deep field of competition, and any of the 32-man roster is more than capable of grinding their way to the top. The Golden Tee Mobile World Championship can't be simply reduced to accuracy and execution in the gentleman's game. With your back against the wall, a champion will need to harness the ice in their veins and the motivation to grind and succeed in the face of adversity. When the pressure is on, who will plant their feet firmly on the world stage to rise and prove they have what it takes to win? The 2023 Golden Tee Mobile World Championship is upon us, friends. We will see you on the tee September 15th through 17th in Las Vegas, Nevada at FSW Arena.